And the good news, Keith, the temperatures aren't that low right now, which is yeah. good. No, our heating degree days have been quite manageable. That, that's like a, a good measure of how much heat you might have to use. And this stretch coming up, although boring for me, um, is really pleasant. Good news for a lot yes. of people. Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> I try to remember that sometimes. Oh, no big storms, boo hoo. Like, that's, that's not good. how most people think. Good. I get that. Um, we've got a nice stretch coming through. And actually, today was, was nice. We got to 40 in Portland, 42 in Wiscasset. Well, it was, it was mild. I shouldn't say it was nice because we didn't see all that much sunshine. And that's been the problem the last couple of days. We'll remedy that over the weekend. Satellite is pretty thick, uh, still out there. That's actually going to clear out later this evening. And we'll start to get into some clearer skies. A couple snow showers. Uh, weather watchers tell me this actually coming down as sleep pellets. I love it when you give me that kind of information. Just a few of them down into in interior York and Cumberland County. So those die down. It's colder tonight than it was last night by a good measure into the mid 20s and low 20s along the coast. Teens inland 10 to some single digits across northern Maine where it was about freezing last night. And then tomorrow we start with a little mixture of sun and clouds. We end up with sunny conditions though by the afternoon. It's not super warm upper 20s to around 30 but I think the sun offsets it. It feels really nice uh, despite the fact that it's a little bit below average temperature wise. And then we run it back. We do it again on Sunday. If anything Sunday's a little bit sunnier with temperatures again in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees. Gets cold Sunday night as we wait uh, into Monday, but there's really nothing going on here. The load is moving away from us that give us the snow showers, the scattered stuff. High pressure is in place. It just sticks there really through all of next week. It wiggles around a little, but the general influence of dry weather continues all the way through next week. And the only thing that really changes is that temperatures start getting warmer into Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I think by the end of the week, we do have a chance to be into the mid 40s in quite a few spots. Okay, I wanted to do this. Um, Phil, you may know, you've heard of this. Uh, he predicted a end of winter in six weeks. So I ran the stats, how often, six weeks from now, which is March 15th, are we done with major storms, major snowstorms? And so I qualified that as three inches or more of snow. So in Portland, 42% of the time, we're done with snow of three inches or more at that point. Bangor, 33% of the time, and Caribou, good luck. Probably not gonna happen, despite what this guy says. This guy and that guy, they have some similarities. They've got some similar vibes to each other. You really are bored over there. Yes. <laughs> Yes, um, but it's okay. Look at this stretch. I mean, it's great. Yeah. We, were t we were talking about like if you can get out and go skiing or snowshoeing. This is not going to vaporize snow. It's only a little bit, you know, warmer than average, but it's going to be pleasant um, and sunny. So great stretch. Next storm, maybe next weekend, maybe. That doesn't look, look like a huge deal. Yeah. Okay, Keith, thank you very much.